Hello everybody, hope you're having a fantastic day out there, uh, back with the AGIX token update. We are up 3.73% as I do this video, and we had a high today of 0.53330, and we, right now we are at 0.52390. So we're having a nice little pump out there in the market, things are looking fantastic today. And I want to go over a couple uh couple pretty neat articles here to cover for you and if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet please do we'd love to have you here every day but i got one here why singularity net belongs in every crypto portfolio it says artificial intelligence tends to get a bad rap hollywood has painted terrifying pictures of a future with ai remember the terminator while mainstream media outlets have us worried that AI will soon replace us. Ultimately, AI will change the very nature of labor. According to PwC, advances in AI will affect nearly one-third of all jobs and 44% of all workers by the mid-2030s. But the wider economic gains will be huge. PwC expects artificial intelligence to add... 15.7 trillion dollars to global GT GDP by 2030. Wow, that's some big numbers. Companies at the forefront of a disruptive technology tend to, to deliver extremely lucrative returns. Just ask anyone who invested in Amazon in the early 2000s. While cryptocurrency is one of today's disruptive technologies, it's still in its infancy now, but over the next decade it will completely remake the world of finance. Similarly, AI is also an evolving disruptive technology that's already changed how we shop and interact with personal technology. Scientists used the AI models to analyze data sets for COVID-19 vaccines in 2020, allowing them to bring vaccines to market in record time. But when you combine AI with crypto and blockchain technology, that's where you'll find the sweetest opportunities. The potential here is so great that Nick Black thinks that top AI cryptos could see gains of as much as 100x from where they started in 2021. So that's pretty awesome. That's an awesome article. And they go through what uh, Singularity Net is here and they, what they're up to and their vision, how to buy it, you know. If you want to know just freeze the screen right here and um, that goes through coin but base pro or kucoin or metamask and uh, I'm gonna go down through here if you want to freeze it and read it so you can uh, this gives you ways to buy AGIX I'm not telling you to buy it that's not my financial advice I'm not a financial advisor but uh, move your trading crypto to kucoin yeah kucoin's a good exchange but anyway US banking Cutoff presents opportunities for crypto in Europe. After Silvergate and Signature Bank have closed up, uh, it's definitely making these crypto firms and, and all the regulation that's coming down on them. You know, Europe has a, a lot lean, linear uh, look on cryptocurrency. You know, they have a thing over there called MICA, the Markets and Crypto Asset Act. It says regulatory clarity in Europe in the form of MICA. Uh, paints a stark contrast to the ambiguity in the U.S. where firms face new regulatory headwinds seemingly every day. This creates an increasingly challenging environment for the operations of any crypto organization. For new and existing market entrants, this is going to be a significant consideration. I know Ripple has talked about, it's XRP, they've talked about packing up and moving over to Europe. and It'd be a shame to see the United States lose these uh, these big companies, um, I forget how many people Ripple employs. It's a lot, though, and uh, it'd be, it would be a shame, you know, not saying Europe's a bad thing at all. It, it would just be a shame to see the U.S. Yeah, uh, lose this opportunity for these companies to create jobs in the United States. So let's look at the Fear and Greed Index. The market cap is up 2.26% today at $1,225,000,000. That is the whole crypto market cap. Volume is down 24 hours, 7.72%, but yesterday it was up 70-some percent. So Bitcoin dominance is up 0.69%, and the market sentiment, we are at a 63 in greed. Your biggest gainers and biggest losers, you can see there, uh, Conflux is up 17.69, the biggest gainer, biggest losers, Frack Share down 3.33, and your trending tokens, FTX, Bitcoin are at the top.
And the reason I cover Bitcoin in almost all my videos, folks, is Bitcoin leads this market. Whatever Bitcoin's doing, the rest of the coins are going to follow. Bitcoin was here first, and everything is pretty much built under it. It, uh, it definitely pulls the rest of the cars on the train track. You know, if, when Bitcoin has its having and we have a bull market, that gives us our time for a, uh, you know, crypto a crypto run there so an altcoin season so that's what you want to see you want to see bitcoin doing super well and uh, that brings the buyers in the market and that brings the buyers to the altcoins and you see you can see bitcoin on the four hour it just keeps getting higher and higher in that price area that we put in there oh, geez four or five days ago we put this price area up here and finally hit it yesterday and now it's really heading up through it but let's get a look at uh, agix here on a four hour we're going to put a fib on here and see where we're at on this thing. Beautiful. Right now we are up at the 702. We need to blast through this zone, which I totally believe we're going to. It's not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. But in my opinion, I believe we're going to make it through this 702. We poked up through the 786 here, but we got rejected. And uh, let's zoom in just a little bit closer here on this four hour see what's going on in here yeah we're right bouncing right on that 702 as we're making this video so I would imagine sometime today we're gonna have some clarity here might take a few hours might take till tomorrow but I believe we're gonna have an answer if we're gonna get popped up through here or could possibly come down and uh, consolidate around this trend line too it's been a while since we touched that trend line and you can see that uh, a tr trend line is very valid I mean it uh, it's been following it the whole way since back here and then we fell through it a little bit there but regained it we uh, retested on it and I, it could come back and at some time it's probably going to come back and consolidate on there need some more buying to come in here the four hour RSI is reset which is fantastic and uh, the one hour I believe is stretched out here yeah it needs uh it needs to maybe come down a little bit of course it can stay on top for a long time too so we need some buy volume to come in, in here and like i said that's what bitcoin does Bing, brings the buyers in of course with agix the the artificial intelligence that i think just people in general are, are buying that coin because you know what's going on and everybody sees the potential in this thing i definitely do and you and let and you're not watching this video because you don't believe in it that's for sure this coin has done nothing but go up since uh january since this year started it's been on this uptrend and i believe it's going to continue I, we have price targets up there that we're looking to hit here and how i came up with them is that the extension on this fibonacci i don't just guess of where this thing could go the fibonacci extensions line up our first price target is at the 1.236 extension it's 78 cents and our second target is at the 0.9789 area and you can see that's where i put them price zones you know so i don't just guess on this stuff the traders use these fibs every single day in the market so if you haven't hit that subscribe button please do i'm gonna put a uh a financial disclaimer up at the end of my videos from now on instead of just uh, saying every single time this is not financial advice not financial advisor I'm just gonna put this up from now on guys and I hope you have a fantastic day wherever you're wherever you're at and uh, enjoy the rest of your day kick back and relax and I'll see you guys tomorrow thank you so very much for watching my video guys have a great night